What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel, Sports, Life, and Politics TV. And today, we're going to be going over this case of monkeypox. Obviously, in the world today, there's so many things that's going on, you guys. There's disease. There's pestilence. There's you have the president falling off a stationary bike. You have food shortage. You have gas price hikes. I mean, everything that seemed like that can go wrong is going wrong at this particular time in history. And we're getting to live it and we're getting to see it firsthand. How this stuff will pan out, only God knows. But the hints of what's coming are clearly here. Now, with this case of monkeypox, I did not know. I found this out recently that it is spreading amongst the gay community at the highest rate like HIV and AIDS was. When I say the highest rates, not the highest of all diseases, but far as which group it attacks in particular, it's attacking the gay community. So there's a lot of questions that need to be asked within, the, within this video. And I'm going to try to go over some of the things that I see in this video, some of the things that are being said. Let's take a look at this clip, you guys. Lines at times stretching around the block. People hoping to get their first dose of the monkeypox vaccine. I am frustrated. I get really anxious because, you know, City officials adding vaccine centers, opening three more locations over the weekend. But appointments for the two dose vaccines are hard to get. It's been really difficult to find an appointment lately. The numbers are still small. And I heard in New York where the, where the cases are really high at in the gay community that they're giving all the vaccines to the white L LGBT elemental PQ group. Over the, over the black one. So this is why, you know, it's important for black people, even if you're a homosexual, that you put your race first. Because these people, just because you're gay, that don't mean you're part of some separate community where you're going to be treated equally. It's a lot of racism within the gay community, too. All but clearly growing. The 618 total cases reported up until Monday in New York City. Almost double the total cases reported just last Wednesday. And health officials say the current estimate is likely an undercount. So far, gay and bisexual men have been the group most affected by the virus. But anyone can get it through skin-to-skin -skin or mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. In New York City, vaccine eligibility is... And you know what, guys? This is raises a hell of a question. Why is it spreading through gay people faster? Why? That's the question of the year. you probably like, yeah, tell us why. Hey, man, I have no idea why it was spread through gay people, but I can make an assumption. My assumption is that it's spread it through fecal matter faster. Through the anus glands faster. That's the only thing I can think of, because we know in the homosexual community, if you're doing homosexual acts, they probably licking ass and... Uh, they having unprotected sex. They using a lot of methamphetamines within the gay community. Methamphetamines is running rampant in the gay community. So that means when you're on meth, you're not making wise decisions. Obviously, you're 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 not. They're not using protection. They sticking tongues and asses. They doing it all, you guys. And that shit is spreading. It would have to be. This is my assumption. I could be wrong. Spreading faster through. The anal glands, and I would say, through fecal matter. Keep the video going. Limited. Only men who have sex with men or anyone with multiple or anonymous sex partners in the last two weeks can get the shot, according to the health department. How are you feeling about the rollout of this vaccine and the spread of monkeypox in New York? Uh, it's a mess. Along with a lack of vaccines, there have been familiar problems of online portals crashing. I feel like in this day and age, we should have portals, you know, crashing because of the amount of people uh, logging in to make appointments, um, especially after what just happened with COVID. The city's health commissioner responding Sunday. I understand frustration, and, you know, we're frustrated with the amount of support that we have of this vaccine. We need to get shots in arms as quickly as possible, but we also need to ensure that equity is built in from the beginning, and that's what we're trying to get now. New York City, not the only place impacted by the virus. 43 states have at least one case, according to the CDC, including Connecticut, which announced it's 13. And what's scary about this, you guys, is that we don't know exactly where this is heading. It can be a nothing burger where it really doesn't pan out to be too much of anything, or it can be the new COVID. And this is far worse than having a sickness that's 
internal. This is internal and external. What I mean by that is that it affects the skin and it can affect you internally like with you know have you feeling with flu like symptoms exhaustion and all type of other symptoms but god forbid you got sores and and rashes on the on the top of your skin and your face that sounds god awful and that's absolutely terrifying and the reason i'm making this video because obviously it's a big deal but they're not pushing it as a major deal yet so it's going to be interesting to see exactly where this goes today we're still short of vaccines, but we do have um, some vaccines. More coming right now. Back in New York, some people coming to get the vaccine from out of state. Hey, look at this line, you guys. <clears throat> it's full of white men. Full of, and I've said this time and time again. You know, in the black community, we have all type of issues and problems that we need to fix. Things that we need to work on. Things that we can do better far as you know the, the violence towards one another uh the, the not being unified on particular topic topics and things and you know but in the white community i've said this time and time again their top three problems in the white community one is pedophilia in the white race pedophilia is running rampant they don't want to talk about it they don't want to discuss it they just want to leave it as is and really kind of gloss over it but obviously majority of grown gay men were molested as children not all but majority were molested as children number two this is something that they rarely rarely talk about in the white community is the abortion rate numbers I'm going to go out on the limb and go so far to say that the abortion rate is either at the same as the black female or, surp or, or surpassed the black female. You say, why would you say that? How do you know that? Because out of the blue, seemingly out of the blue, they overturned Roe versus Wade. Now, when the numbers <clears throat> were always... In the favor of black women having abortions, they was never overturning Roe versus Wade. This, that right there lets me know. That's why I say on this channel, I, I love to read it in between the lines. That lets me know that, hey, something's going on within the, within the white race. The white woman is indulging in lesbianism. She's indulging in transgenderism. She's changing from a, from a woman to a man. She's aborting babies at a much higher rate than the numbers that they're given. That's why statistics can lie. They say black people commit the most crimes. That's a goddamn lie. White people commit either, I would say, three times as much crime as we do. They're not prosecuted at the same at the same level black people are. No way. We know that there's an opioid and a meth pandemic in the white race. When, you, when, you, when you're a drug addict, you're not getting these drugs for free. You have to rob, steal, kill. You have to do what you got to do to get the drugs. Just like when black people was on crack. That's why they had. They ended up coming up with the three strikes law and the crime bill with uh, uh, Biden and all that stuff. Because black people were committing crimes for the drugs. Whether it was the drug dealer or the drug user, the same thing is happening in the white community, but they're not prosecuted at the same rate. This is how you this is how you cook the books. This is how you know numbers numbers lies. But I want you to look at that line. I will say 95% of these men are homosexual on this line. And mostly all white. Keep the video going. That messaging needs to balance targeting the communities who are most and look at this. I'm, I'm sorry I had to stop the video again, but I just want you to look at this. What is this? What is th this man look like he was born as a fucking ghost and now identifies as a goblin? What in the hell is going on? Is this a woman who turned into a man? That's what it kind of looked like. The transsexual menace. What? See, that's why I say within the right. How many people, if you come across, how many people would like to have this man, woman, Whatever this person identifies as around their children. Would you want this person around your child? Absolutely not. This person is a walking demon. Who knows what this person is doing with ain't nobody looking. But just take a look. I want you to look directly at this person. I don't know what that is. And I would always venture to say that he or she don't. 
they don't know what they are. Because these people identify as one thing one day, and three weeks later, a month later, a year later, they identify something totally different. They'll come up with a whole new goddamn uh, uh, identification marker, something else that we ain't never heard of. And so you're supposed to keep up with all this shit. I can't keep up with all this shit. You know what's crazy, y'all? <laughs> I never thought I'd say I missed the days of regular old gays, a lesbian, and a regular old male homosexual. Jesus Christ, what happened to those days? Unbelievable. Affected by monkeypox, which right now is you know, gay, bisexual, other men have sex with men, without stigmatizing those people. It's, it's a very fine line, but I think we need to do a better job walking along. For the people who've caught monkeypox, the symptoms vary from fever to exhaustion to a very painful rash. We met a gentleman who has three friends with confirmed cases and another who has a friend with all of the symptoms but hasn't been able to get... And those three friends with confirmed cases, I wondered if they get it from each other. That's a great question. Three friends. He has three friends who has monkeypox. Now, the monkeypox, you looked at the rates and the numbers, it was only... 600 people who had it in New York so I would imagine those three people all knew each other and was having sex with one another they's having these gay orgies and God knows what else is going on but these methamphetamine parties you guys but I'm gonna just I'm gonna let the video finish out you guys an appointment at a doctor's office it's really underscoring just how challenging the system has been and how likely it is that we're looking at an undercount she said it's likely that we're looking at an undercount. So they leave the door open that it can be far worse than what it actually is. This is something I just want to go over right quick, you guys. I found it interesting. Sometimes you want to kind of get ahead of the curve because the monkeypox, you know, case, we don't know exactly where it's going. But we know one thing for a fact that it seems to attack homosexual men more than anything. My assumption is it's through the fecal matter or the anal glands. <laughs> That's the only thing that can possibly make sense because why would a disease only attack gay men? Obviously, it's transferred easier through those means. I would. That's my assumption. That's a huge guess and an assumption, but I think it sounds like an educated guess and an educated assumption, you guys. But yeah, I appreciate. Hey, and I just recently moved to Vegas. So I've, I've, I haven't been able to do videos. We've been setting up our house, and it's been a lot. It took me a week to get the damn internet people out of here. So it's been a, it's been a nightmare. But so far, you know, I really like Vegas. It's, it's, it's hot as hell, but you know, I was in Northern California where it just got ridiculously expensive. But I'm happy to be here, man. And I appreciate you guys' patience. You know what I mean. I appreciate all the people who tune in and support, man. Man, if you if you can hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I just took your ass on one hell of a monkey pox ride. Peace.